about to put them in the oven. It's completely cured. It's perfectly translucent. Hey, Chris, what are you doing? Well, we've got a small batch of Dugan cranes here, which are basically the same as the last batch of cranes we did. With a tiny, the back end's a tiny bit shorter. So this is, this is, uh, not even a, maybe a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the previous batch. And the original TD350 had the TD350 on the head tube, but the last batch of two different we did have the key logo. So this has the key, the little mono stay here. And these ones are getting shot for, looks like gloss clear. And then we're also doing an orange. But today we're only shooting the glass clear. So we're gonna chuck them out each shot and then we'll put them in the oven. 30 minutes later we'll pop them out and see how they look. one of the coolest gussets we have. So it has the embossed gusset and the engraved head too. The back end's 13.4. 13.4? Yeah, it was kind of foggy there for a second. <laughs> and the last time we ran Tom's frame, it was, it was 13.475. So it's just a hair. Yeah. Just a hair shorter, which probably has something to do with the gear he's running and the chain links and getting the wheel right where he wants it. What do we got going on here? So we got the Dugan frames are sprayed for gloss clear and we're about to put them in the oven where we have some Credence 925 bars that just got sprayed for gloss clear that are almost done. So you can see there. They've turned from that solid white to uh, what you're used to seeing. That's gloss clear. I always think that's really interesting that that's solid, it's a solid color and then it cures and becomes translucent. That should be about 30 minutes. So after about 30 minutes in the oven, it's completely cured. How long is it gonna cool for? So I'd probably let it cool for about 10 more minutes, but I mean, coming close, you can see, I mean, how it's perfectly translucent. 
even though it goes on solid, that white pigment in the in the powder, a lot of the, the reason why they have that white pigment in the clear powder is so they can see where they're putting it on. If the, if the powder didn't have color to it, you wouldn't be able to see, you know, all the tight little spaces. You wouldn't have full coverage. You wouldn't you wouldn't know it was on there. Those look great. Hey Doug, what are you doing? Oh, what's up Chris? We're just over here at uh, Anaheim Stadium, you know, the BMX Triple Challenge. And, uh, you know, since our boy Nutter's here, building these jumps. Hi Doug. What's up? <laughs> hey, we're here uh, giving him his his uh, frame, his Husky Boy frame. The Husky Hold Boy. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Cause we got, you know, a couple Husky Boys. Here. There you go, Nutter. Nice, man. So oh, tell yeah. me, tell me the backstory on this frame. Um, I don't know. The colorway, anyway. The colorway. Uh, just bought a 2023 Husky 450, and the colors were sick, so we went with this. Yeah. Because it kind of matches up. It's got the gray top and the yellow like stripe in the middle. Yeah. The white back end. Let's pull that thing out of the back. Here. Pull it out of the back. Show me how to do it. You just gotta go. Take care of that. Yeah, take care of this. One. It's yeah, yours. Okay. It's yours. Nice. <laughs> wow, this thing is shiny. Oh yeah. Love it. Notice the length. <laughs> Notice the length. Yeah, some vintage. Some vintage S and M uh, history there. Yeah. What's happening with these jumps? We got Jimmy up there. Ten years. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, buttering shit up for us. <laughs> I see Adam in that big loader back there. Is he, uh, is he making that jump bigger or smaller? That's a little bit too big, I think. That's what they're saying. It's a little too long. Well, there you go. The Husky Boy. The Husky Boy. Thank you, Doug. It's the frame I ride. Thank you, Nutter. Is that the frame you ride? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Check that out at a... Get on this thing and feel like you're riding a 450. Check that out at a dealer near you. Bye, that's Harry. <laughs> I know, dude. It's, that's Harry. I feel super sketchy being up there. <laughs> it's like completely backwards from everything I ever learned. <laughs> Usually it starts small. And that's like that. <laughs> I know. Hey Chris, what are you doing? Well, yeah. <laughs> five minutes to quitting time back here in the shop today. Uh, we're gonna check out the CCR frame with 14 mil axle slots. Follow me. So we've done some custom CCRs with 14 mil slots, but we decided to do a small batch of them. And we're also doing a uh, 21 and an eighth top tube link on this run, which is something Clint wanted to do. We've never done that top tube link before. And these ones are gonna come in a couple of, uh, well, one color that we did before, which is the army green. And then we're gonna do a trans burgundy. Uh, Thomas, what are you doing? Uh, we're gonna do a trans burgundy and uh, we're gonna do, I think, uh, maybe a matte black or a gloss black. Basically, three colors to match the grips army green and a trans burgundy, and then some kind of black, either matte black or gloss black, or maybe even a trans black. Yeah. Not sure. Trans black's always nice with the engraving on the head tube. So, that's one thing we got going on this week CCR's 14 overall. All right, what's up? I'm here. We decided uh, after our production meeting today that we're gonna do another very small run of the S&M 29 inch booze cruise frame, but we're gonna do pre-orders to till January 19th. 
and hopefully shipping around March 1st. But we decided we're gonna do another color since we got you so many custom color requests, we're gonna do raw. So no paint, straight up off the rack. And yeah, so you could order the original colors, which are black stout, black and tan, amber ale, and yellow pills from your local bike shop. Hit them up, they can pre-order one for you, or hit up your favorite mail order, and they can pre-order one for you too. Tom that, Dougie sent you. And that one's got no paint on it at all, Doug. It's raw, straight off the rack. So you can order it raw. Disc brake, bigger top tube, down tube than the ATF. Badass frame. And since we're on the subject, doing another small order of uh, frames that we just came out with, we're gonna do another small order. Got the JB, Jason Ball, LAMF. He's got a couple things, a couple new things we're gonna be doing too. Take it away, Balls. We got the new fork. Well, it will be a new fork. These are just prototypes that we had done years ago. It's got the shield cut out in it. And this will be a limited batch of 200, all chrome, individually numbered. They'll have a special red insert pressed into them. Something we did in the past, but we haven't done before while um, this is the blue the code blue then a code blue slam to match 55 enduro and then basic profile cranks chainsaw sprocket profile hubs in the back Odyssey in the front clean simple that's about it ready to rock When's that run gonna be taking place? We'll start ordering parts tomorrow. And then, I mean, I could see having everything by March, maybe back from paint by March. So you can jump on pre-orders now. If you didn't get any of those first ones, I got to hit up about it. So now's the time. Shops, you know who to call. Yeah, tell them Dougie sent you. <laughs> Nice, you got some uh, Reynolds grips on here. Yep. When are those forks gonna be available? Those are gonna take a little bit of time just because of the processes, but I think we could see these by end of March. We're gonna send material off to start getting laser cut. And then get everything else going. And that's a wide mouth. Yeah, it'll be a wide mouth type leg drop out. Same bend as the wide mouth for max tire clearance. And then that other steer tube, 166 length. The internal thread for the M24 bolt. And then, like I said, each, it, each drop out will be individually numbered one through 200. We've never so, done that before, right? We've never no. had an individually numbered fork. No. So yeah, this will be a nice new limited edition run. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Balls. Thank you, Doug. Hey, Chris. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Poking around here. in there. Yeah, yeah. We're we're uh, we're here in the merch aisle, and there's some pretty cool new things floating around. I like this 10 by 10 shield patch, completely embroidered. Uh, heavy duty it's got the adhesive on the back so you can iron this thing on or you can sew it on or you can iron it on and sew it on but look at that thread look at that quality does get in there god yeah see that on the back of your sleeveless denim vest <laughs> your black widows motorcycle club vest that you wear all the time uh, <laughs> totally yeah uh, put that on there we got these are new too built different construction pencils for i know i know there's some people out there that have you know worked construction so you know what this is i know exactly what that is yeah. um, 10 years of using those things 10 years of these things yeah <laughs> well those ones are pretty cool you good little uh you can use those to build something different uh what else we got here we got some some koozies fueling the fire koozies on the fire theme, we've got, I mean, we've got lighters here, fueling the fire lighters. 
a great, great uh, gift item. What else do we got? Some good got little boxes of uh, little boxes of matches here. Feeling the fire since '87. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got some cool stuff. I've got the Greystoke. I've got the Greystoke magazine in stock. It's a pretty, it's a pretty serious. Uh, Shout out to Scott Town. Yeah. What else do we got? We got all kinds of patches. We got these pins. We got a lot of stuff. Check that out on the uh, merch section of the SM. Or fit website. Nice enamel pins. Uh, yeah, we've got the S and M book back here, still on sale. We got some fit koozies as well. Grip donuts. This is probably the strongest merch game. <laughs> this is the strongest we've been in the merch department in a long time. <laughs> so check it out. No, dude. It's that's hairy! That feels super sketchy being up there. There. There you go. Oh, this thing is shiny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love it. Notice the length. <laughs> Notice the length.